much team you with? Uh, well, Mark Tranek, I train in Florida, represent Great Britain. So you've heard the prospects for 2019, the, uh, the possibilities for that. How excited are you about that? Oh, very excited. Um, I mean, the presentation they just gave to us was very, uh, it looked very good, their proposals. Um, a bunch of competitions all around Europe and the US. Um, a lot of opportunity to race, a lot of opportunity for the fans to kind of interact with the swimmers. Um, a move for the sport in a different direction to anything that's uh, happened in the past and it's something I'm looking forward to. Why do you think it's taken so long to get to this stage? Um, there's obviously been some conflict between FINA and ISL. Um, just because this is a brand new concept and totally foreign to anything uh, FINA have known in the past. And they're kind of a, an old organization um, that's done things the same way for a long time. And this uh, being a brand new concept and pretty revolutionary really for the sport, um, it just takes time I think. Um, but hopefully things are resolved and uh, this works out. How's it going to change things from your point of view for 2019? Do you have to completely change your schedule around for next year? Um, Looking at the schedule that they proposed, it's actually very similar to a kind of a college, uh, a college team schedule, where you're racing every second weekend or so, um, either home or away. Same to the college. Um, so I wouldn't being a, being on a pro team now. It's a little different um, for the pros to kind of get used to that schedule. But having been on the college team in the past, it'd be like going back to that be very easy to adapt to, um, I guess, as long as there's only one long travel to Europe, so that would make it nice for me being on a US team. Um, having one meet at home is perfect, and then the other two meets just a short flight away. You didn't get into swimming though for the money, did you? But how much more did it make you want to stay with the sport to know that there is an incentive financially for you there? Yeah, I don't think anyone really gets into the into the sport of swimming for money. Um, if you want to make money doing the sport, you go, you play basketball, you play football. Um, but having the money there can add uh, longevity to the sport that isn't that currently doesn't exist. Um, it can give you value as a swimmer um, on a team that might need you for certain events only um, at certain uh, meets. But this is something that can, uh, that can keep swimmers in the sport for longer and uh, really improve the sport as a whole. And the format, is it going to mean that you can change your program a little bit, maybe try some things that you wouldn't otherwise do because of the different events in there? Yeah, I mean, that'll be up to the, uh, the head manager of each team, whether they want you to swim in each different event. But that means we could see uh, swimmers who typically stick to one stroke or one event uh, swimming multiple things at different meets. And that could be ex really exciting for the fans. Like, we could see some of the top swimmers, we could see maybe Chad in some IM events for the first time in a few years or uh, see, uh, I don't know, I was going to say Ben Proud maybe swim some other events but I know he doesn't like uh, backstroke or breaststroke too much. Um, but you know what I mean, we could see uh, swimmers do different things and uh, get out of their comfort zone a little bit. How do you feel about the skins? Are you a skins fan? Because you're normally a longer distance swimmer. Uh, yeah, I'm more of a middle distance guy but um, those sprinters hurt in the skins after the first couple of rounds, you know, so if I managed to survive, then then yeah, I would fancy my chances, but um, obviously there's other people on the team who might uh, might be a better option for that event. I might be kind of sticking to my longer events. And finally, do you think this is something everybody in the swimming world will embrace to take it forward to 2019 and beyond? Absolutely. Um, I've not really met anyone who's been opposed to the idea. I mean, talking to all the athletes today, we're all loving the ideas. Talking to my training partners back home, we were all uh, pretty into it, yeah. Although we didn't know quite as much as uh, some of the guys that are actively involved in the process over here. Um, and even my, my coach is labeled like pretty old school in his uh, training methods, but he's very into this idea of, of ISL and wants to see it happen.